Hi, good morning. This is Frank Cox, SmokerBuilder.com. Today's tip is a plasma cutter tip. Uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of straight cutting, like lengthwise cutting and things like that, uh, plasma cutters like Hypertherm or uh, Cutmaster, uh, different cutters like that are coming out with these drag tips now. And uh, I've got a Hypertherm 045. That's the one that I use every day. And uh, it comes with a drag tip that looks much like this. You'll see it's got a crisscross. And, uh, you know, this one's been used quite heavily in the last couple of days. Um, the first thing to do is make sure that that's, turned, that's tightened on there. You just tighten this up. Make sure you got a good clean tip in there. And then what I'll do is, let's say I've got to cut this piece of metal right here. I'll set, I'll use a good straight edge like this. This is an aluminum one, and I prefer to use an aluminum one just because my tip won't stick to the uh, to the aluminum as I'm cutting. If I, you can see, we've actually missed quite a bit with this cutter, but uh, as long as you stay off the edge, you'll have a good straight line still. And uh, what I'll do is I'll set this straight edge up, much like this, and hold it down with one hand, like this, and then that plasma cutter tip. The hypertherm one I like the most because you can see it's got like three different tiers there. That bottom tier fits right in here like this. And you can ride the edge of that all the way down that straight edge. And this tip can make contact with the metal. So when you're cutting cook chamber doors or anything like that, you can use a good straight edge that you can bend or like this aluminum one. And then you just start your arc and then drag that thing down the tip, down the edge of that uh, straight edge, and you'll get a really good straight cut. The one thing that's helped me out the most with, uh, with cutting along a straight edge like this with a plasma cutter is to make sure and don't, uh, don't rest your weight on the plasma cutter gun. Uh, the, the thing to do is to make sure and, and keep your... Uh, Keep your weight on another part of your body, you know, rest just like you're welding, rest your fingers on something or whatever, but be consistent in the motion that you're making, uh, you know, in speed, be consistent on speed, things like that, and you'll get a lot better cuts. Thanks for watching. Check out smokerbuilder.com and check out our forums. Thanks a lot.